So I got my capacitor, big old gigantic, awesome cap right there. Took the remaining length of pipe I had and wound uh, each end around. So basically just adding an extra turn. Um, and tried to use that single cap, which basically brought me up to, I'm running this about 87 kilohertz now, and that's just a little bit over resonance. I've been running that for a few minutes now, just to see if it would actually heat up. So it actually is looking like, uh, you know, it's working about the same, a little bit higher frequency. I'm pushing a couple hundred watts less now than I was before. And it seems like it's still heating that thing up, no problem. So, once again, I sort of had to go through the same process of running it for a while, seeing if anything heats up, make sure the bridge is still switching okay. And uh, if I feel like it is, then I see that copper melting, then I'll go ahead and uh, transplant all this into this case that I've got for it and start pushing higher power. But I got sort of a temporary connection to the pipe there which is not suitable to keep it cool so I'm having a hard time really figuring out the best approach there I don't know if I'm just going to use a bunch of solder paste or something or try to braise that together uh, but basically just got it clamped real tight right all right so I brought it up to 100 volts 10.7 so a little oh, hair over a kilowatt now so I guess it's now just starting to get to the point where that stuff's gonna melt. Yeah, I could see it. I could see it starting the process. Yeah, so the pipe's starting to uh, sink down in there now. It's actually spitting out tiny little little pieces. I got my safety glasses on. Little tiny chunks that aren't big enough to do anything. Yeah, add another piece in there. Yeah, not bad. I mean, once that gets up to temperature, I guess if I put a bunch in there, then uh, it'd probably take longer. Put a bunch in there at a time. Yeah, so the current goes up very slightly the more copper I'm adding in there right now. It seems to be how it's working. Add another piece in there. <laughs> so now I'm just going to add like a pretty good amount three chunks like that right now we're at about almost 11 and a half amps I can see like a blue flame coming off of it sort of yeah you see like a real cool bluish flame coming off the copper Yep, my uh, OCD flickered for a second. Got to cut it back up. So yeah, that's melting down in there. Can't really see. There you go. Oh. So yeah, I mean, obviously it takes a little longer. You add a good amount in there. Hell, I've already put a good amount of uh, pipe in there. Now I'm almost to 12 amps. So I'm almost back up to about the power I was running yesterday. So I'm going to just put one more in. Let's 
So that's actually all the loose piece of copper pipe I've got. And uh, see if I can melt that down. So whenever that's done melting down, I'm going to let it sit there and sort of marinate for maybe like 30 seconds. And then I'm going to cut it off. trying to show like a real time melt so now we're at uh yeah, it's still about 11 and a half so not quite uh 1200 watts but that crucible looks stupid hot right now so yeah <clears throat> I don't want it to uh, crack or anything. So you can see how that's not immediately melting down yet. It really cooled it down. So it has to get back up to that uh, runny melting point again. And then there it goes. Whee! Still a little tiny little piece there. What you doing, guy? Oh, there he goes. I guess I'm just going to stop there, let that guy cool down, and uh, see what happens. Yeah. It, it definitely got runny hot, so that, that would easily be hot enough to uh, pour out. You know, so probably sit there and uh, be liquid for a little while because that uh, crucible so damn hot. All right, so here's the chunk I just pulled out from the last melt. So this was the previous piece I just threw back in there on top of uh, the rest of the copper pipe scrap I had, right?